welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can create a tab bar application with each tab connected to a navigation controller. So if you're not familiar, of course, the tab bar is what we've got down here. But a navigation controller gives us the ability to have this bar up here, as well as push controllers onto the stack and we can swipe them back really nicely like this. Of course, we can hit the back button too, um, but this is by far the most common navigation pattern that you've probably already seen in other apps that you use and probably the most common pattern you'll be using in your own apps. So with that being said, make sure you drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, get Xcode ready, and let's see how we can put this together. For usual, we're going to get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application and we'll call this tab uh, and nav. Make sure it's in Swift and let's save it on our desktop. Let's select our simulator of choice and just hit command R to build and run our empty app. And once Xcode decides to load, we'll see it like so. And let's get into the implementation. So the first thing we want to do is actually set up a tab bar controller that will connect to each navigation controller. So we're going to go to the storyboard to do that. So once you're in the storyboard, get rid of this initial controller that Xcode gives us in the template. And we're going to come up here and open up this menu and search for a UI tab bar controller like so. And let's drag it on in and let me expand my Xcode window to give ourselves a little more room to work. Let's also expand this side. Cool. So we have this tab bar controller, which is the guy over here. Let's delete these two controllers that are uh, connected to the tab bar controller by default. If I can select it like so, and let's bring in navigation controllers. Whoops, we don't want to select that. Let's change this back to this. And let's search for UI navigation controller. This bottom one here. Bring this in. And you can see this is a navigation controller. And we can delete that uh, this controller that's default connected to it. Let's copy and paste this navigation controller uh, twice. So we have two more of them. Let's drag them out. And let's connect each of these navigation controllers to our tab bar controller. And in the menu, select view controllers. We're essentially saying each of the tabs root controllers is going to be this navigation controller. And if you can see, once we select this, a new tab is going to pop up here, similar to the other two that we just did. Third tab. So now what we need to do is each of these navigation controllers needs a root view controller. So find a view controller and drag it on in. Drag from the navigation controller to the view controller. Connect it. And let's do that two more times. I feel like I've said controller like 20 times in this video thus far, but bear with me. Drag this one in and copy and paste it because I'm lazy. And let's connect them to the navigation controllers like so. And before we actually run, let's select this tab bar controller. And in this right panel, you want to check this box, which uh, makes this the initial controller that the app launches to. Let's set some background colors to these view controllers. So this first one we'll leave as white. This one we'll do something bright. And this third one, let's also give it something bright. Hit Command R to build and run. And you'll see we have the loads. Actually, it did load. The first one's white. We have this white screen, this obnoxious orange screen, and our last screen. You can also notice that we have this navigation bar up here. And the reason is if you look at the hierarchy of how these controllers are laid out, the root of our app is this tab bar controller. Each of these tabs down here 
is connected to a navigation controller. And a navigation controller, in this case these three, each have one root controller, which is the bottom most in the navigation stack. First one is white, orange, and this last one. So what we're gonna do is let's add a button to one of these. We'll go with this one, I guess. And we're gonna push a controller on the stack so you guys can actually see that it is in fact the navigation controller. And we're also gonna give uh, some titles up here because titles are cool. So let's double click this and add this title as home. This one will be second. If I can click it, this one will be third. And let's also give this controller a class. Uh, Xcode by default gave us a class called view controller. So if we open up the side panel on the left, which I accidentally closed earlier, we can see we have a view controller.swift file here. So let's select this orange controller, come up to this tab and change the class to be view controller. And we also want to bring in a button. Let's drag it on in. In this view controller, let's go create an IB action. Whoops, that's what we want, the view controller. And we're going to call this IB action did tap button. And when the button gets tapped, we're going to basically create a new view controller. We're going to say it's views background color is red. And we're going to then say navigation controller push VC animated true. Let's go hook up this IB action to our button in the main dot storyboard. So we'll right click from here from the action to our button. Select touch up inside for the action, which is a standard tap. Hit command R to build and run. Let's go to our second tab here. And if we hit this button, you notice this red controller swipes on. We still have a bar up here, navigation bar, and we still have our tab bar down here. And we can still swap between these as well as swipe back to the orange controller. So this is actually by far the most common navigation setup that I have worked with in the past uh, nine years of doing iOS and also have seen other apps do. Um, that being, of course, this base tab bar controller connected to navigation controllers and navigation controllers managing their view controllers. So hopefully that clears up how to set up a tab bar controller with navigation controller stacks. And I think that's enough of me saying controllers in this video. So if you like the video, drop a like down below if you haven't done so already. Subscribe if you're new. If you have any issues or uh, questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.